reiterate safety, okay? Uh, there's no need for anybody to get hurt. There's no need for anybody to be excessive except for myself. I'm picking, I pick certain people to work with me because I know them and they know what I'm doing. And they know, uh, I know how far I can go with them, okay? Uh, if you have any questions in between doing the technique, just ask. If you want something changed, it's not a problem. A lot of you have training already. A lot of you are instructors yourselves. I never promise to show anything new because unfortunately when it comes to defensive tactics and martial arts, there is nothing new. Somebody has done everything somewhere else. Unfortunately nowadays, within the last 30 years that, that martial arts especially has blossomed in, in the United States, we have a lot of people that are discovering and inventing and there's nothing to discover, there's nothing to invent. I do something one way, he does it a different way. It's no big deal. When it comes to realistic self-defense as opposed to martial arts, that especially astounds me because you have, you have CDT, you have REMCAS, you have uh, CQT, you have all these people with all these nice acronyms. When you look at their curriculums, they're all teaching the same stuff. Everybody's teaching the same stuff. The difference is the orientation. Some people you know, have a one way of thinking, other people have a different way of thinking in terms of survival and how, what victims should do. That's the main difference. With me, my only, my only emphasis is this. I've been doing, uh, I've been in law enforcement for, 20, this is my 21st year. I, 18 of those years have been involved in bringing in fugitives, absconders, the warrant work. I have never been hurt once. I have, I have had zero complaints against me and I have had zero perps, defendants, probationers go to the hospital as a result of anything that I or any one of my officers has done. I think that's pretty good for 21 years. I figure I'll make the next four the same way. Doesn't mean I'm a softie, it just means that you use your head and you articulate. Some things that we do may be a little different than what is quote acceptable, but if you articulate it properly, it gets over. Okay? So, let's just start. Come on, Adam. Are you wearing anything? No. no. Okay. I just bought this so we could, uh, you know, you don't, need, you don't need to have one, but we'll, we'll do this. And so it's just uh, come in here, that kind of stuff. Okay, so it's usually right by surprise. Okay, we might want to do it this way because he wants to, he, he'd like the camera angle, but then they can't see. So maybe just spread around so you can, everybody, you know, just don't block the camera, I guess. I'm not, I'm not used to camera angles. Okay, so we're going to block him here, we're going to get him here, we're going to get him there, take him down. Okay? You alright, Adam? Okay. He's alright. Right. I don't know, if anybody wants mats, because uh, it's up to you. You want a mat? Okay. Basically, all I did was a natural reaction. I tried to work with something that's natural. And if I was not trained at all, and somebody came at me like that, I'd probably go, ah! Whoa, oh my God, what's going on? Okay, that's just a natural reaction. So if it's natural and you train long enough, you convert that natural reaction to a nice block. Everything you do to a perp or anybody on the street, you have to stun the person. There is no such thing as applying locks and takedowns. You guys in the street, you see these monsters. There's no way you're going to go to a guy that does that who's, who's huge and go, oh! I'm breaking his It ain't gonna happen. You guys know that. So, you gotta stun this guy. You give me a nice little block, give me a nice knee stun to the chest in here, nice elbow in here, lock up that elbow, you can take him down, we stay away from the neck, pressure. My partner comes in and helps me cuff this guy, because if he's fighting me, I ain't cuffing him by myself. Okay? Let's go, work. Thank you. Work. I don't like to talk too much, you gotta work. We came to work. <laughs> Just use your hands. <clears throat> Don't go away. Look, we got lots of room here. <laughs> I like to walk around and talk to you as you're working. <clears throat> See, look, they got right into it right away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The thing with a lot of room, everybody spreads out and you gotta go all over the place. There you go. Nice elbow in there. Take them down. Okay. You never want to straddle the person okay. like that, okay? So what we would do here, we're forbidden from sitting on his back, right? They don't like us doing that. So sit on his, kneel on his elbow. Lock it up. That's fine. That's good. Okay? Okay, that's the typical Kodagash response. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm trained. So. Yeah. Okay. I was just trying something a little flashing. Okay. That that would be. Sama. I realize that wasn't when you do it. Always go parallel to the camera. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Show for him. They and then and then show they, for they, him. They can see you. Okay. Okay. Please. Okay. The the only issue with this, and I teach this all the time. Yes. Sir. Okay. The only issue with this mm -hmm. is that it's a martial artsy. Yes. And at this point, while I'm doing my kodagash here, that hand's coming up. You know, you're right about that. Okay. Right so he's got to reach on me. Right. So the, 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 to deal with the height difference, the same thing comes in. I'm going to come in here. Now I'm going to get him that one. Yes. Now I'm going to give him that. Now I'm going to give him that one. Yes. Okay. Okay, you don't want to lose control of this. So you don't want to be moving around too much in front of the knife. So as it's coming in, once I do this, notice my hand just slides in. It's very, I just slide in here. Now, before he gets a chance to pull this back, which is what he's going to do. Now, he's taller than I am, just like you are, and he was too. So instead of just going in for a knee strike in here, I want to stun him a little bit. So I'm going to come in here, give him a little elbow shot right into the chest. Now I can come up, give him a shot in here. Now I can give him a shot in here. Okay, this way I can control this arm as much as possible. So I got to... Okay, this is, this, there's nothing wrong with the other part. There's nothing wrong with this. Okay, I'll show a different one from here. Okay, you go in, you go in here. Just, I'll show it to you now. But sorry, I'll show it over there. You're going to come in here. You're going to go, bam, right in there, right in there. And then take him down, okay? Okay. <laughs> show me what you got. Let me go over here, I'll come back. This? <laughs> done? Yep. Me, me, mm -hmm. there, and take him down. <laughs> no, Kelly's at peso. Got so much Sorry, guys, on me, man. When it come, they should have put the mats out if you guys want mats, because a lot of stuff we do, we're going to take people down. Take it off, put it down. It's awkward, it's awkward. You can actually get hurt training with that on some of this stuff. But just work the. Yeah, I had problems, issues with it? Right here, tell me. I got pretty much from here. Maybe. Right. Or grab this arm? Or yeah, that guy, lock it up lock before it he up. pulls it back. I give him a knee real quick before he does anything else. And I give him a good shot over the top, keep him down, and now you finish the lock. Lock this way? Yeah, just press right in there. And then bring him down? You can take him right down from there. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You do it to me, I'll show you a little. Nice, nice. The dogging comes in. You got the initial block. I immediately walk in because what's the next reaction from here? Once you do this, this arm goes back to stab you again. So we're going to block and follow. Block and follow here. Now from here, I actually have a better shot getting you here. So from here, I'm going to go bang in here and the strike is in here. Right. I'm going to go over here. I still have this. Still have now I just drop this. Yeah, I can drop this down. Now, you can grab my leg if you think, and whatever. But when you grab my leg, if I have this, when I fall, your shoulder's going to break. So I'm not worried about you grabbing my leg. That's my worry. And when it comes to knives, what's the only acceptable defense against a knife? A gun. So whatever you do to this guy is acceptable if you don't have a gun. So legally, you're covered to break this guy apart because it's deadly force. So if you've got nothing, in, nothing but your hands, you can tear him apart at that point. Okay? Questions? Well, you, you tried it with the left. So he's, he's trying to figure yeah, it out. Right. Okay. Now, it's, thing, right? if it's... You, you did more of a... Um, you do more of... What I'm saying, um, as you teach us, you do more of a... The hammer lock, the arm lock. Yeah, yeah okay. that's a control. That's a control, right. Control. What I'm doing at this point is, we're not going for the control. For Deadly the force, control. I'm, going, I'm going full, full all out. There's, right. a, there's a little difference today. So how, do, how, do, how do, from here to here, get from... Is it okay. like this? Yeah, what happens, you need to lock it first. So he comes in, I just react and go bang, immediately move in as if you were going to do the arm lock. Right. But as I do that, I either give him a shot to the elbow, Take you guys, go in the middle, we're going to use you as a cutaway, so demonstrate on them so they can do a close-up with you guys. Oh, okay, come on, come on. <laughs> Don't be on camera. <laughs> okay, as if I was going to do an arm lock, he comes in, I'm going to go in here, follow the arm, but as I do that, I'm going to bring other things with me. Elbow, knee. That's, this will make him come down. Now see what I got here? Right. He can no longer draw it out, right. but he's going to try. Before he does that, Give him a good elbow shot in here to drop him, and then I come back. Now you can either put him in the hammer lock or just lock out his arm. So you went up from the lock. That's how I was trying to get that. that yeah, yeah, you got to come back to the elbow. Okay. The key that we're looking for is that get him before he does this. Just do the block. 
An experienced knife guy will do that. The street guy, and that's who we train for, okay? The guy we train for, he's gonna come out, he's gonna go, mm, mm, ah! Ah, you got the going guy, you got the, the light. Ah! Oh. Sir, you stay here. You pull the group over, one right. by one, and do it with them. Okay. This way he can always pull, pull away to you, okay? Whatever you do, you oh. pull the group in just one on one with them. Take the hornets, kid! <laughs> Sorry, oh. No, he was coming in, I just went to hold them up. Oh! So, oh. so is there any difference? Take your pain. As a matter of fact, take out your frustration. I know, I'm sorry, I didn't even mean it. I just went like this. <laughs> you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. The first thing I told you guys, be careful. I didn't even <laughs> Ah, it doesn't take much. That's why. That's why. Oh, I just went like this. That's why the technique works. You yeah. see. You see what happens. Yeah, yeah. That's why the technique works. Oh, I didn't even move. You came into me. I was like, well, that's the idea. Yeah. The guy, guy wants to stab you. He's coming yeah. into you. I know. Okay. I know. And that's the way you got to articulate it. Okay. Even if you moved into him. Yeah. That's how you have to articulate it. Okay. So basically, again, he comes in. Yeah. We're gonna block it here. We're gonna we're gonna move into him, even though he's coming in. Meet him halfway. Okay? I'm a little more dependent on strikes because the locks, again, when you're on the street, yeah. I've tried it with so many people, you cannot depend just on locking a guy up like this. It's not going to happen. His adrenaline pump is too much. It's too strong. Yeah. Okay? Do you hit to knock the knife out? No. Just hit the block. You're preventing like this, right? Instead of this. Keep on coming, right? Right. See that? When you give him security by coming in, you give him security by com when you come in. Oh, you're gonna get well. You're gonna cut anyway. Yeah. That's number one. You 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 want to control the space so that he's forced to do what you want him to do. Okay. Yes. Okay. Come on. You know what we can do? Get them all to come closer too, because they're so far. Yes. Oh, you don't have a knife. You will pretend. Let me see what it looks like. Let me see what it looks like. Okay. Do it this way so I can know. You want to go first? Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. You want to be a, you all right? Yeah. You want to be a little more deliberate? Okay. I mean, you need the speed. Obviously, you're going to die if you don't do it. But you want to be a little more deliberate when you come in here with the grab and strike. Remember, it's bang, bam. This shot has to be really good. <clears throat> Give him a good shot in here, and then lock him up. Okay? Because if your strikes aren't good enough, then you won't get the lock. You'll be struggling with him. When you get to this point, when you get to this point, he'll start fighting. Just bend your arm. And he starts fighting you here. Now you're in a bigger fight because he stands up and he's got you locked. Oh yeah. Okay. So your strikes. This hand worries about protection. This hand worries about strikes. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Come on, questions? Let me see it. Oh, okay. Time for a break for you guys, or you want to show me what you're doing? He needs water, okay. Oh, we're not walking off. I'm just calling you over to show me how you're doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh me or oh, Both of you. No, both teams. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. I can't. It's, it's hmm? Shy. 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 Oh, okay. I'll have them bring them, bring them over. Bring them over. I'd rather go over there, but they they got the camera over here. They want you guys on camera. Show me what you're doing. Uh, any problems you're finding with it? Let me see. Let me see it. He's big. He's big. Okay, I'll show you how to break him down. I tell you, the other guy just hit me. Just did a knee strike, and he did it full. I'm still recovering. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, he stepped on my head. <laughs> that's a, that, oh, that's a secret technique I taught him. That's a secret technique I taught him. Here's what happens. Okay, stand on this side. I'm being directed, that's why. Okay. First thing, when, you, when this comes in, don't stay in front of it. Okay. Excuse me a second. John, how are you? Uh, Good right, to see you. See you again. Good to see you. Right. Okay. He's the next instructor. Okay. First of all, when that comes in, don't walk into it like this. Okay. okay? You want to keep your body back. So as that comes in, body comes out. When you move this arm in, 
You can't just leave it like that, because you know what she's going to do? She's going to slice this up, she's going to come back, she's going to stab me again. What you want to do is, you, as she comes in, you're going to come in here, she'll be, mo I'm sorry, she's going to be moving in anyway, but you're going to move in and push this back. She's going to pull this back. As she pulls it back, you move in with it. As you move in, here goes, one. That's part one. Part two, bam! That'll make her come down, lock this up. Elbow strike right here, and then take her down, and then lock her up. Okay, now he's a big guy. He's a big guy. So what happens there? Come over here. Give him the knife. He's bigger and stronger than I am. I can't go strength to strength with him. The technique doesn't change. What changes is how you're going to do your strike. Okay, now you can strike anything from here to here with your knee. Doesn't have to be high. So he comes in, the same thing. He comes in here. I can tell you will never kill anybody with a knife. <laughs> you come in here, do the same movement, but maybe I don't want to go up that high because he's bigger. I don't want to lose my balance. So I come in here, bam, right into that thigh. Okay, stomp down, strike here, strike there. Okay, elbow, shoulder, shoulder. We don't want to do this. That's no good for us because that's not allowed, okay? But we'll do this. Lock up that shoulder. Now we can come in here, whoop, take the knife, okay? All right? All right? So it doesn't matter if he's big or not, the technique stays the same. It's just what you change is the target and you want to make it better for yourself. You don't, with him, I, the last thing I want to do with him is get into this kind of a thing. Right here. A wrestling match. A wrestling match with him? Ah, this guy's too big. And from here, I don't want to start getting into, into doing kick. I'm too far to do anything. But I want to move in. Now, hey, this is great for him. Ah, oh, I got him in my grasp. No, you don't. Bam! Bam! That may take more than one. But what's your key? This one? You have to maintain control of this one. Because this is the one that's going to kill you. That one's going to hurt you. This one will kill you. Control it and use your other weapons. Use your other weapons. Okay? Let's see you guys do it. Come on. With you? No, no. With, with her first and then I'll demonstrate if, if there's any, if you have any questions. Oh, shit. You're dead. Tonight. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, all right, go ahead. Okay. Oop, you don't want to straddle him. No. But you went into an arm lock yeah. immediately, right? Okay. Now, watch what happens here. Oh, you're going to get No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Do the same thing you did. Don't change it. Don't trick me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh. Your tooth hit my finger. Okay. See what happens? I'm getting, I'm getting hurt here today. Okay. You all right? Okay. Why did that happen? Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, let me try it again. Who looks to be stronger right now? Am I bleeding? No, no, your no, your 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 tooth hit my. I didn't hit your gum. <laughs> oh, here you go. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna survive today. Okay, you went in there, you did that. Oh, but you're too strong. Right. I can't do it. Right, and you're taking me in for what? A stupid little marijuana, right? right? right. And I'm gonna do that. So, you come in. Before I go to do that lock, I'll do this. But. <clears throat> okay. That's what's gonna soften him up. Okay, and I just touch you. Okay. You need to stun him. Take his, his mind away because from I, that. You know, I'm small, so I, yeah. I, I always I go low, that. you know, when, when but, I try to do something, I always go for the, like, the, I, ha, I come down like small. That's fine. Because I can't let him grab me on top. That's right. I don't have enough strength. Hit here. Hit here. Hit here. But keep control of the arm. The arm lock, I teach the arm lock all the time. I mean, that's, I like that's the a arm great. Lock. Arm lock works great, but when you have somebody who's not, who's doing like a passive resistance, but you got to stun him. You got to stun him. Okay? Go ahead, it'll work. No, 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 you go ahead, work. Me and her? Yeah. Let me see her do it. She didn't do it. Wait, uh, hey, I forgot with the arm. You on the left thing. It's okay, Try remember, yeah, but he doesn't he she doesn't know that. Yeah, but I know it. Okay. She doesn't know that. Do it the way I did it, then I'll show you lefty. Alright, go ahead. Okay. Oh, you forgot the stun again. Okay. Stun him, stun him, stun him. Remember what I did to her? <laughs> okay, ultimately you want to go there, but she's not going to let you get there. She's not going to get there. Why? Because she's going to start resisting. So when she starts to resist, you can't, you can't do the arm lock. 
Okay, you gotta right. come in and do a he, hit. Do it with him. He resists. Okay, see he what happens is this. Watch. Now you come in, do the same thing. That's exactly what will happen. Okay, so you have to come in. Take left. Okay? But when, when you don't have experience like that... That's why you gotta... This is very simple. You gotta train. You gotta do it often. Often. You gotta grab a partner in the gym and do this over and over. Grab at home, grab somebody and do this over and over. They're very natural. You don't have to hurt each other. Okay? Alright. Okay. Go ahead. Guys, come back. Come back. Come back, guys. Well, they weren't kidding. I haven't been in a gym in a long time. It is hot in here. It is hot in here. Okay, now, oh, you're lefty, right? You said, I'm lefty. Okay, he's lefty. Some other people might be lefty. She goes, well, so her natural reaction was to go opposite. Okay? Um, actually, you were using your left arm. But let's just say you, want it, you react different. Okay, what if all of a sudden, instead of reacting this way, okay, you react, oh, how's that going to change it? doesn't change it at all. Okay, it comes in, you react to different, it hits here. The only thing that's different, if you roll, walk around, is, is, is the grab. You block, you grab, and now what? Mm, 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 mm. Okay? <laughs> No, see, I'm used to, he's used to me, so I, I take multiple hits from him. Okay, you right? Oh, yeah, what's that? <laughs> okay, so, what we're doing here is do this way. The defense, remember, I'm trying to keep everything simple. So, instead of changing the technique for every, every offense, what happens? Somebody already told me, how am I going to learn this? How am I practice? You know, I don't have time to... So, you don't have to practice a million things. You can practice the same defense against multiple attacks. This way it becomes more natural, okay? And that, that's, that's self-defense, it's not martial arts stuff. Martial arts, we teach you to do thousands of techniques and then your brain, you know, but then it takes years and years to get to, for your body to pick which one is good for you, okay? But we don't have time for that. So, we nice keep it simple. Whoa, right in there, right in there, right in there, in there. Okay. My partner comes in and helps me cuff. If I don't have a partner, what level of force is a knife? Deadly force. What force are we using right now, actually? We're using physical force. So, think about that. Okay? Oh, I reacted wrong? No! Bang here! Bang! Right in there! Right in there! Keep control of this knife. Same thing here and... Try it with the opposite side. Let's go. Thanks. Thanks. Try it using the opposite side. Let's go. Don't go too far because I, <laughs> I can't get to everybody. Drink lots of water and take it easy. Okay, it's very hot in here. I want you to get in dehydrated. You start, if you start getting dizzy at all, just stop. No big deal. First break, I'm going to change it to some gym shorts. Okay, no problem. Nice. So the first break? A couple minutes. Uh, he said 45 minutes. Yes. Oh, that guy kicked me. Oh. Go ahead. All right. Would you mind? It's okay. No, no. Go ahead. She can walk up with another group. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, work the sergeant in if she wants. Okay. I'll leave my uh, stick here. You can leave everything here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, it's on the arm lock. It's okay. You just go from a straight arm bar to an arm to an arm. The finishing controlling move is actually. <clears throat> really up to the individual's experience. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got to work with the opponent. Okay. That's not. A, that's not. That's not a big. The, the key thing that I'm noticing from people is they they all want to go into that control mode immediately. And unfortunately, if you 40 enough guys on the street, you will realize that nobody except the guy that goes, "You got me here. Take me." is going to let you do that. Everybody else, you got to work it. If he's got a knife in his hand, it's automatic. This is automatic. You got to work with this. You got to work with the drawback. See, when we teach class, we go like this. 
We stay there. That's cool. To learn the technique. Guy's coming in, he's going to go bang. And then when he meets resistance, he's going to go, oh, let me go again. So you want to follow it and stun him and then do your control. Okay, and you only get that, you only get that experience from fighting people in the street. Because, you know, that's the way we've always trained. And, you know, you train in dojos, you train in dojos. You always train with the, with the static defense. That's tradition. Then you hit the streets and you try with the first guy and you find, my God, he's still fighting me. But I'm supposed to be able to do this control. Then you find out, oh, that doesn't work. Well, well you're gonna follow him. Follow him, stun him. <laughs> you feel free to change anything, you know, anything that you want in there. It's not, I'm not, it's not the dojo where everything's gotta be the same. So. There you go, there you go. Oh, 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 I gotta stay away from him. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You can step out, out here, but if you step to the outside now, let me show you the difference. Okay. Your natural would be here, so you're going to actually be here, you're going to do this. This is a natural movement. If you've trained yourself to do this and move out, now you're, the, the attack, the stunning stays the same. What changes is obviously the angle. You just did that, grab it, same thing. <coughs> Till he drops. Right there. That'll be your target instead of here. See, see the difference. Here, bang, bang. Here, take them down to the face. But, yo, step over here, Mason. That one, they keep hitting me with that camera. So, what happens? Now I came here, so now I grab here, I go, bam, bam, as much. Make that die to hit, have him go down, and now I can control him and take the knife. Okay, so you can just change it. It's the same defense. You know what it is? I do the same thing over and over and over again. Which is not the same thing. Like, if you were to me, to me, like, left oh, my yeah. Okay, but, but watch. Do that again. All right, let's come over here. Who's your partner? <laughs> yeah, right. well, a knife, that's the, only, that's the true response. But this is a surprise. So I come in. Go ahead, go finish it. Oh! Okay, good. Okay, that's fine. That would be just a natural reaction. That's fine, but see what you did, you did what I just taught you. You used the knee to stun me, and then you went into the lock. That's what I was looking for. So that, that's fine. Now, anything else that you add, you may need to hit him multiple times, in which, in which case you did. With a knife, hit him as many times as you need to. Okay, but now go to the outside, like you did over there. Where you did the arm lock. You just did that. Then, okay! That's it. Good. That's what I'm looking for. You got it. That's what I was looking for. Don't forget the stuns. When you first did it to me, you just went right into the lock. You can't take that chance. Okay? Surviving edge weapons. Remember, you want to go home with all your pieces, not in pieces. See, distance is the best. Distance is the best, but you know what the distance is with a knife? 20 feet. 25 feet. <laughs> Guys, come back here for a minute. Hello? Hello? Guys, as with all, as with all defensive tactics, body position and distance are crucial, right? We were just talking about that. Where? There she goes, over here. Now, with a knife, see if anybody else knows. <laughs> with a knife, knife versus police officer with holstered gun. What's the optimum distance? Twenty-one to twenty-five feet is the optimum distance. I've got films of police officers at twenty-five feet. Now listen to this, holstered gun, not drawn gun, holstered. You stand here, he starts to attack at 25 feet, this is where you're going to be. This is where you end up at 25 feet if it's holstered and you don't use proper tactics. So, remember, people with knives who have intent, 
they can cross that distance tremendous what you want this is a little tactic if you have that kind of distance that like we were talking about you got the distance circular movement you move straight back even if you pop them two rounds and he's here he'll still kill you it's happened it's happened many times okay so oh we have unexpected guests so we have always remember that when you're dealing with the knife okay this one yeah no, 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 come back, come back. I don't have a gun, I can't shoot you. <laughs> we were going to demonstrate, but I don't have any live rounds, so. <laughs> okay, that's for here. What if he's coming over the top? Bang! Okay, it could be a slash, or it could be a stab. What do you think we're going to do different? Anybody? Just the direction of the block. Just the direction of the block, that's all. Because if I get, if he throws a smack, throw a smack. Uh, no, put the knife down. No, put the knife down. Throw a smack. I already got hurt once. Smack in case oh, you miss. <laughs> okay, if this is coming at me, what do I do naturally? Oh, this is my natural reaction. Okay, so I pick up the knife. Why change that? Uh, I have to go against 52 years of training, which is real life, to learn something new. Don't change it. He comes out, do the same thing. But this time I go. Okay, what did I change? What did I just teach you? You can be up front. Nothing. I taught you nothing. I just showed you something you already know. Okay, I just showed you something you already know. You already know. Ow! He's gonna hurt me. The only thing you gotta add is don't cringe, go for him, hold that arm before he takes it out, and our defense stays exactly the same. Bang, bang, maybe we want to be a little, add a little variety here. Drop him to the back instead, okay? Maybe you want to add a little variety. Put him on his back instead. So, ow, bang, come in here. Be nice to each other, please, okay? Now, just to give you a little history lesson. What everybody here calls a reap, which is what I just did, just put your foot forward. Okay, in martial arts we call it osotogari. And when we practice sport, or in the dojo safe, we go back of leg to back of leg. <coughs> However, he's got a knife, and he's bigger and stronger than I am, I'm going to come over here and we'll go crack! Okay? Osotogari is meant to go against the knee joint. You go against the knee joint, he ain't getting up. Okay? So while we do that, just as a little change, go in, grab him. This is automatically a stone when I come in. Okay, this is automatic. You don't have to do anything. Just walk into each other, nice, nice, and do this. You see that something happens. Okay, so again, we're staying natural. <clears throat> so, grab it. There's a first stone. Give him one for good measure. Go ahead, let's do that one. Go. Coffee break. <laughs> Coffee break. After I grab your stomach. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, I got I got hit right in the the first guy I started demonstrating. Came in full knee. Boom! Gotta wear a cup. Oh. That's what happened to that guy, Stephen Hayes, the ninja. Yeah. Okay, the seminar. The guy yeah. hurt him bad and then hit him in the face. Yeah. Look at but he was stupid. The story that I heard, and this was from, um, como se llama este, uh, the, uh, uh, cop stick, what, uh, you know, um, uh, Salaya, Rich Salaya. Yeah, Salaya. Rich Salaya told me that this big redneck guy, this is Salaya kind of down guy. Mm -hmm. So he tells this guy who looks like a lumberjack, grab me by the neck. And the guy says, he goes, he hits him in the chest, grab me hard like you mean it. So the guy goes, <laughs> You have to go to the hospital. You have to go to the hospital. No, seriously. <clears throat> who didn't I touch? Here we go. Work with my friends over here who are going to help me out later. There you go. Okay. 
Don't forget the stun. Yeah, some kind of stun because what happens when we get into this, when we get into this position, yeah. if he's strong, and which he will be because he's mad, without throwing each other, do as I tell you when I come in. Push me back. See? Oh! Because of the leverage, yeah. What happens, we both have equal leverage in the yeah. same, same movement. Even though he doesn't know the technique, yeah. he just automatically knows that his leg is trapped, he's going to push you back. Okay? Because he, cause he goes, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going back. Exactly, so I'm we're coming forward. forward. Now we want to keep yeah. him there. So we want to let him come forward. Again, I work with his reaction. He's going to push me forward. So what I do, I help him. Yeah. And the way I help him is by giving him a little shot to the groin or the, or the gut, because uh -huh. that's going to help him to come forward more. Bam! That'll make him come here. Now I come in, and now from here, where does he want to go? natural reactions to stand back up so after I do this he starts to get up now I come in here and I give him the drop yeah. work with him let him do most of the work for you okay great where are you getting a lock itself I know the movement like if you're coming over the top you want to block I'm right here right there right there so then I can do whatever. Exactly. I want. Exactly. That's what we're looking for. Okay. In fact, initially, my initial reaction is going to be here. Right. See, I see all my entries for self-defense purposes. All my entries are this, are here. So my weapons are up front. One of them's going to block. One is going to do something else. So in this particular case, I'm going to go here. Bam! That's the first shot. Whether it's the throat or the chin, right. it's going to go there. Now this is going to wrap immediately. Now he's going to start to pull back, but to keep him from doing that, I give him a shot in here. That makes him come forward. Still, yeah. Now, what does he want to do? He wants to stand up again. Now I just continue this and I help him out. Okay. All the while keeping in mind that I have to keep stunning him because I'm right-handed. So while I'm here, right, I got to protect. I don't have time to defend against this and this. You can only devote time, attention to one. Yeah. And that's the one that's going to kill me immediately. This one's going to kill me eventually. So I got to source this guy up. You have to source him up before you do anything else. But the lock comes in, that should be almost automatic. This is a just, just going into an arm lock, right. basic arm lock. Okay, we call this a tiger lock. That's critical. Yeah, now here, you get this here, what do you do? Pull it back. Now pull it back. If I was fighting this guy as big as he is, he'll pull this arm back and he'll slice me all up. Oh, I see. He will. Right. He will. I don't have the strength. So 165 pounds. Right. Puny guy, okay, nothing. It's, it's crucial that you hold on. It's crucial and that I... And then you go right into your strikes, mm, right? Mm, 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 mm. Turn me into butter. Then drop. Then the lock will give you a chance. Okay? It's critical. That's a good point, too, because a lot of people, what they do is once they get hit, they, they try that one strike and it doesn't work. Having them continuously hit, to. and that's the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. That's why I like, we train with the fist suits upstairs. Yes. And I put the fist suits on the guys, and we have them go at, when we're doing the expandable baton and things like that, I have my guys actually attack the, the, the participant. Right. And now I, I actually have boxing gloves on them, so when they're using the ass, my guys are actually sticking their hands out, and they're tapping them on the forehead, yeah. they're tapping them, letting them know, look, I just hit you. I look, just hit I you. Just hit that's you. right. Look, that's right. So that's what they're going through right See, now. See, what I, what I fail to understand mm -hmm. from street officers is that if, even if you're a rookie uh, by the way Sean this is me I don't Sean, 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 Sean. Okay. if you have you're a rookie first night on the street first the rest of this one of these young punk 15 year olds you know he's like, he, he doesn't go with you of course okay you try you try a lot and you end up in a fight tomorrow when you come back out to the street you run up against a second 15 year old punk that you're trying to take down he does the same thing and you do the same thing Something's wrong. You didn't learn. Right. And the thing is... They're not adapting because what happens, I'm going to be honest with you, what happens with Damiel is that these people, they come through here, they get certain training, they get conditioned in a certain way. And that's one of the problems. And the thing is, is that they're not... They get so locked into what the, the training is. Again, as adults, and you know how adults learn, mm -hmm. they learn by seeing and doing. That's the way right. adults learn. Right. But they always fall back on one of two things. The last thing that they were taught, or the training that they the received. That they received. If the training that they received was poor, and the last thing that they were taught was poor, they're going to fall back on that. That's right. And it's just, it's just a reflex. <laughs> yep. what it is. It's a reflex. Like myself, I like to use the term unconscious confidence. I want people to reach. That's why repetition, and that's why when we train upstairs, every Friday we train. Mm. We do it so that we can stay on, you know, we got grappling, we got everything else. We, 
do some judo, some grappling. We do everything that we can. We practice what it is that we teach, so this way we can continue to right. stay proficient. That's it. You have to. And you have to. It's just a matter of yeah. repetition. But cops uh, are creatures of habit. Yeah. They leave here and they want to be away from here. That's why. That's right. That's why they don't practice right. with what it that's is. That's right. You've got to. I. The first thing when I first came to the police academy was 1982. Uh -huh. The first thing the first instructor told me was, you want to go home in the same condition you came to work in. Exactly. If you remember that, right. it'll work. Yeah. I'll talk to you some more in a bit. Okay, what are we doing? Everybody stand around, let's do something else. <coughs> Al, you have to, uh, uh, yes. just give me a gun, I don't, I don't need the whole belt. Right oh, okay. Guys, come back! Guys, come back! Alright, bring it in! <laughs> I'm a little different today. What? This work for 10 more minutes. Oh. And then we're going to move. Then we have to move it says. Oh, we do? Because the recruits are going to do. They're going to put out the wall. There's 20 guys that failed and they have to give them a chance to do it at, oh. at 9 o'clock. Okay. For an hour. Two, All right. Then we can come back. No problem. No problem. Okay. You hiding? Don't hide. Come back. Oh, you haven't been to my class in how long? <laughs> how long? You haven't been to my class in I don't know how long. We got 10 more minutes here, so we'll do something else a little different. Most of you guys have your belts on, so let's just... Uh, uh, oh. I don't think you're going to get this out of here anyway. My pants are so tight, but... <laughs> Front grab, how do you want to take the gun? From there? Okay. That's cool. He's going to take the gun from there. He's actually going to reach. The guy's got to be real stupid to do that. By him, just that. Okay, because if he's, if he's got any kind of smarts, what he'll do is this. Take your gun out. That's how I would take your gun. I'm not going to walk up to this guy who's a trained police officer and go like this and take his gun out. Okay, I would go here. And then I'd take your gun. But you know what? That's only because I'm already thinking self-defense. What do I do before I do every technique? Shock, stun. So that's me. But I'm on the good side. I'm on the right side of the law. So he comes in. Goes for that. Before, as soon as you feel the touch. Okay. As soon as you feel the touch. I do not want to do this. Pull the gun out as I pull your hand out. I do not want to do this and remove his hand from the gun. It's the last thing I want to do. Because now I'm helping him do what he wants. And I want him to help me do what I want. So what I want is to keep the hand here. So I lock it up with my other side. Not this one. I do it with this one. Why? Because that hand's going to come up. I'm going to go here here. Now from here, I'm going straight into that elbow. Right into that elbow. Maybe it'll take one, maybe it'll take two, whatever it takes. But don't let go of this, push it down, hit that elbow. Grab, and where am I going now? Mm. Now that little kick is not going to do it at all, alright? You're going to have to hit him a couple of times. He really wants your gun. Adam really, he needs this Glock real bad. So, he's got to get into this gang. He's not going to let me do that. One, two, one, two, one. He let go on his own. We attack those parts of the body that we're going to have the most effect on. <clears throat> I'm going to hit his elbow, lock it, hit that elbow. He's going for my gun, I'm going to break that elbow. And keep contact. You don't want to do this. Oh, now, now what am I in? What happens now? Now I'm in a fight. You want to fight? I don't want to fight this guy. I don't know how to fight. But he does, he's a street fighter. I do not know how to fight. I wouldn't know what the hell to do if this guy put his hands up. And I went, oh, shh. I don't know that. He's bigger. He's going to hurt me. So I don't want him away from me. I'm a grappler. Ah! Mm -hmm. He's been letting go on his own because I've been hitting him pretty hard. Okay? He hangs on. He wants that. He hangs on. Finish it off. All right? Take a few minutes to work on it. Thank you, Adam. Adam, are you all right? Am I doing too much? No, I'm okay. You okay? Okay. Here. Adam. All right, so let's go to 8, 8.30. 8.30, okay. Where's we'll the clock? Stop. Take, uh, I'll, seven minutes. Oh, you let me know, yeah. Just this technique, that's it. Mm -hmm. and then they'll let them get coffee. 
and then we'll give them time to all go upstairs to the seventh floor. Okay, thanks. Let me just. How's the family? Good, I have a grandson. I forgot to bring the picture. Oh. Uh, he's going to be a year old next week. You're a grandfather. I'm a grandfather. You don't look it. I know, I'm grand. We're just joining you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, on, on that move you just showed. Oh. Sure. Oh. Let's do it over here. They like, like for me to do it in front of the camera. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I'm trying to. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go he for a gun. But he comes I, in with his strong hand, I, I guess? Okay, he did. He came in with the strong hand. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He came in with the weak hand. He came okay. in with the weak hand, which I just cross over, lock it in, and use my strong hand in a, in a diagonal approach to break. Uh -huh. Okay? Now, what if he comes in with the other hand? Tell you the truth, this is the easier one. This is the easier one to do because now you lock it up with that right. one. Press oh. down. Now step in and oh. block. Oh. Step in. Step in with the block. Yeah, put your whole body right into that arm. You want, you want to hear a snap. He's going for your gun. That's deadly. Bam! And then, mm, okay. right in there or right across the drop. And the other way? The other way. I come in. That way. That yeah, you do I or do I just hit? You can just stay there if you want, okay. but you know what you do when you do this? Make believe you're touching the sky with okay, this hand. So it's a, hard, a committed so attack. So trying to go through the hand. That's right. Okay, so I, committed right there. You, then, I you, then you can step in and continue the strike. She let go. The guy, the guy lets go. It's actually a little easier because now you have more movement. If the guy doesn't let go, it's a little more, a little harder. Just put your hand. Oh, uh, oh, not the other one. Sorry. It's a little harder because if he stays here, obviously he's in your way for moving. But what, you just keep, you get, get this big oh. shot in there. As soon as you get a reaction, again, knee to the back of the thigh or a shin strike right into the knees. Okay? okay? Yes, and what we're looking for is to stun him and then we can go on and do all the other fancy stuff. Okay. Okay? Same side. Same side. Grab the gun, right there. Grabs, reach over, hold, right hand, up, right through the arm. Bang! Bang! Grab, here, or here. On, until he drops, yeah. If it's the opposite grab, hold down, left hand, up, bang, bang. Doesn't change. If, well, that same side, hold, no, hold with the cross hand. That one. Now come across. Bang. That's it. That's it. Now knee strikes for it. That's it. And then you take them down any way you want once you stun them. The more one hand, we teach the more two hand hold. And then what do you do with it? Well, if, I mean, just, if you have whatever hand, right? yeah. you have from here, right? You grab right. it here, you come in. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, this is just yeah, a, a variation. Good. Okay. So, so you, you, you're expecting the hit? No, no, no. No, I'm expecting to take this and I'm tough. Right. Okay. I'm a tough. That's what we're looking for. Right. Okay. So, so if I grab more, you it's and more you. More than I, I could do the stun. That's it. That's it. That's it. Remember, you need to stop, because even if the guy is not expecting it, okay, and he hangs on to this gun, and you just move two hands right into it, you move right into that. Shoot, remember, this hand is not, it's not lame. Right, right. Okay, this is not lame. He's ready to hit you with this one. Okay, so you go to there, and before you get into your cross step, this guy comes in, pops you in your chest. We want to prevent that. Okay, so we want to save this a little bit. So you sacrifice a little bit here in a sense of holding. Okay, because you're only using one hand, yes, but you don't sacrifice more protection and more punishment. Because now with that hand, you can defend and, I mean, protect and defend at the same time. So you're saying, look okay. realistic, I mean, yeah. as far as a um, stronger person, mm -hmm. more stronger, that okay, guy's bigger than us, right? whatever it is. If I have just one hand, his right hand might be stronger than my right hand. He comes, he comes with a punch, and I mean, I'm getting knocked the fuck over. Now he's pulling back. Right. You're right. I, 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 I you're can't. right. You're, you're right. And that's why we, we've got to get people to train them to have the forward momentum when you're defending yourself, yeah, which is what yeah, I've been yeah. doing, instead of the backward momentum. So, so, so you, I pulled your gun. Uh, you you're coming in. I'm coming. That's it. Okay? Use me. Yeah, really. Use your opponent to help you. Right. So when I grab this gun and I start to pull, 
<laughs> You're jamming me up here. Now, instead of moving straight into me, do it, but move that way. See, remember, I do a cross grab. On the same side, I do a cross. And now, when I pull, cross diagonally and break my arm. Better target acquisition this way. Okay? So the more you're, off, you're always coming forward. Yes, yes. No matter what. Yes. Distance. When you pull back, you get hurt. That's why it's called close quarter combat. Yeah. You can't do close quarter combat at a distance because what we're depending on here is distance yourself from the guy and then what? Then draw your gun. You're not, you may not get that chance if you don't stun him enough. Okay? That's, what I, that's all I'm saying. Got to get into a position where you have the advantage. So now I go to pull. Lock, step it by any cross, you just jam. Now even if I throw this, you're gonna get here first. Now there's okay, and then you finish off with whatever. That doesn't negate the other technique. It just you have to be ready for different circumstances, that's all. So more, it's, if, if, say I do this, right, and I come in, tuck my chin like oh, now I'm, I'm I'm probably gonna grab you here. Tuck my chin here, right? Right. Now I'm gonna wanna do this, but you're gonna remember this isn't a control here. Right. This guy's going for my gun. I'm breaking this arm. Okay, so I'm gonna go through. You wanna hit here. This is what you, this is your target. So you're gonna go through. Ah! If I get that, that's that's absolutely beautiful. Now you can finish him off. If I keep him here, that's good too. Now I'm, now you gotta work the legs. Okay. What happens again? We have too many people going for control before they have proper target acquisition and 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 weakening of the subject. Which is great, because every time we come down here, I know I've, I do it all the time, I come down, I teach all the control techniques, real pretty, oh, here, grab this wrist, grab this, and that's great, but you need a lot of experience right. in order to get it in. Right, right. Okay, we gotta, we gotta move, okay. Um, how much more you want before Pelly really goes on? We're gonna give him a half an hour break to go upstairs and change and, and get them upstairs and everything else. Okay. Then you want another half an maybe, hour. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe 15 minutes and I'll do one more technique from a different position. Okay. Okay? All right, so we're gonna go, we'll do that upstairs after yeah. the break. Yeah. All right, folks, listen up. I'll work, I'll work with him again later. <laughs>